Hello everyone, it's Elder here. Today I wanted to go ahead and uh, talk to you a bit about 550 cord or uh, parachute cord or paracord as it's also referred to. Uh, I was first exposed to uh, 550 cord in the Marine Corps. I was a fresh Marine, brand new Marine, a boot, and uh, was going out in the field as an infantryman. And uh, basically my squad leaders and all the other guys, of course, you look up to because they're the senior Marines, they were all using this cool cord or uh, rope for lack of a better word, uh, back then in my head. And uh, I was always exposed to pioneering because of uh, being a Boy Scout, being an Eagle Scout, you know, just really, um, you know, loving to, to learn different types of knots and lashing and, and, you know, just other options for shelter building or whatever. So I was coming from that. And then all of a sudden I'm in the Marine Corps, introduced to paracord, and I've been a big fan ever since. Well, to be perfectly honest with you, it was a hell of a lot easier back then uh, in the Marine Corps to be able to uh, pick out 550 cord because it wasn't the uh, the cool thing that was out that everybody's out there making their uh, their uh, jewelry and bands and necklaces and, and uh, slings, I mean, anything that you could think of, which is cool, you know, and I obviously dig it too, as you could tell by my setup that I wear on a daily basis and the thing on my wrist that I had made years ago. Um, so I like that stuff too, but it's also practical for my lifestyle because I've torn these up a bunch of times when I needed some kind of cord or rope in a field, depending on what the mission was. Uh, but not a big deal because it's inexpensive and, you know, you spend another 10 minutes tying a new one back up uh, once you get back to uh, base camp. So, uh, as I was stating, we basically had a couple choices in Marine Corps. We had it in black and we had it in some form of green, maybe two different types of green of OD, you know, either lighter version, darker version. But now, as you could tell, I mean, there is every color, pattern, anything that you can think of is out there because, of course, there is a niche market for it. And whenever there is, uh, stuff gets uh, mass produced. Now, that's a great thing for pricing, but it's also a very confusing thing because everybody wants the mil spec stuff, right? Military spec, so you know it's really good to go and really does hold 550 pounds of, uh, of uh, uh, tension, you know, so to speak. And uh, we don't know if, there, if it is or not because there's so much confusion because everybody's making it and it's coming from all different countries. And uh, what I want to try to do is, I guess, share a little bit of the information that I have and, uh, you know, help you out to uh, make a correct decision if you choose to add some uh, 550 cord to your uh, survival gear. Now, from what I've been told, and uh, I'm no expert on the subject, right? So I'm just, I, I consider myself an expert in application as far as using it, but uh, definitely I'm not on all the little nuances. I'm not a manufacturer and uh, definitely don't want to be. And uh, I just want to share what I was taught and what I know and what I've tested out. So first off, I was always told that in the Marine Corps, if we were to tear this apart, and uh, this is the beauty about also 550 cord because you have a bunch of little mini ropes in there also. But what they were telling me about military spec, you could tell that these are only four strands and they go all the way up to eight or nine, I think, for a type three. Once again, it gets very confusing. Uh, you could go ahead on Wikipedia and uh, study it all you want and hopefully that'll enlighten you a little bit better than I can. But you can tell that one of these has a marker here. All right, so they're a little bit different, right? This one has that little twisted rope. So each one of these are three different strands, right? I don't know if you can tell on the camera here. So there are three different strands and one of them here has the marker strand. And I was told that if it didn't have the marker strand inside, then it definitely wasn't military spec. But as I research as of late, because remember this was decades ago, uh, things have changed. You know, I, I heard that even the government contractors aren't putting this, uh, this marker in here anymore. So once again, it just makes things a bit more confusing. All right, but what we're looking for here, more importantly, is something that you can tell that, uh, that can handle whatever your job is. All right, if you go out there and buy 550 cord and you're under the impression that it holds 550 pounds and that's what you want to utilize it for, then this really makes a difference. If you're just looking for some extra rope to carry around with you for multiple tasks, then you don't have to be, let's say, as selective. So once again, the right tool for the right job. Uh, you could tell here with other uh, manufacturers, now this one has uh, six strands, right, also has... Uh, the three different uh, braids, so to speak, or different sections here. Okay, but there is no marker, all right? But it actually has more strands. It could also tell, now a lot of these also, uh, from what I understand, I've been lucky not to have them, they'll also come with a cotton, cotton inside as opposed to this nylon, uh, or even a cheaper polyester, all right? So once again, you wanna pay close attention to that. And unfortunately, with all the specs that I've seen, a lot of people are, are lying on their specs or exaggerating. So you might not find out until you actually get it. Um, so it's kind of tricky. I wish I could give you some other uh, fail-safe advice. What I will do is in the blog post, uh, whoever I find currently that is selling the best specs, that's who I'll list up there. But keep in mind that I might put this up live today and a month from now, the manufacturer or the vendor might change. 
All right, so I don't want that to be a reflection on me, so I'd rather you have the knowledge um, as opposed to just relying on somebody else's opinion or an old link that somebody might visit a year from now and think that uh, you know what I'm saying is still accurate. So ideally, this rope should hold 550 pounds worth of tension, all right? So that's one benefit of the 550 cord. Uh, it's also small, right? So easy to wrap up, carry around with you. All the uh, gadgets that have been made lately, and of course you can make these yourself or you can buy them, and uh, that's the beauty about the internet and YouTube. There's a lot of guys out there sharing their information, sharing their skills, and that's how I ended up tying this, you know, a few years ago, uh, and also the bracelets and things like that. Because uh, to be honest with you, we used to wear these type of bracelets in the field, not these types, but a bracelet uh, made a power cord while I was in the Marine Corps. But we would just basically use a braid knot and tie it uh, around our wrists and uh, we'd be good to go and we'd end up having an extra, you know, 15 or 20 feet uh, worth of rope on our necks or uh, a 550 cord on, on our necks or on our wrists. Uh, but now, of course, with all of this fancy stuff, you could hold even a lot more uh, because of these cool knots. And this is just one type. Obviously, you could make them thicker, uh, make them thinner. Once again, uh, up to you. But I also try to think of the practical or the survival uh, application, even though I might not want to ruin, you know, my cool little necklace or whatever. But if I'm out there in the field and I do need it, uh, and it has happened before, but luckily I have a bunch of these, I could just tear them up and use what I need to use. All right. But once again, you have to find what fits you, what fits your lifestyle. And uh, that's what you kind of want to prepare for, not what the uh, the latest uh, guru is uh, wearing or, or saying is, is cool to wear, right? This isn't about fashion. You know, it's about saving your ass. I mean, you can tell I've been tying knots uh, through this whole review just basically to show you the, the ease of working uh, with the 550 cord. And I like using the, the different styles, especially teaching our members uh, when I work with the scouts and the younger. It's just easier to have do for two different strands. So if you're showing something like the square knot, it's just an easier visual for them to see exactly what they do, you know, to have the two boat, the two bites, you know, interlocking and interweaving, and then just showing them different applications um, of the actual square knot. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's just important stuff to, uh, to just have, right? Because if I have this in my pack already, I don't have to worry if I'm doing some kind of demonstration or, or tutorials or uh, anything like that, because the stuff's already with me and uh, makes my life a heck of a lot easier and multi-purpose, which is what we're always looking for uh, for any gear that we're adding to our pack. If not, it's just extra weight. Now, what I do have here is uh, a harness that was uh, issued to me, and it actually has a 550 cord on here. And what I did is uh, open it up to just be able to show you. Now, this one also has an, uh, the four strands, all right, and also has the uh, three-ply here, and it also has a marker. All right, so this one uh, came right from the horse's mouth, so to speak, all right? But once again, decades ago. So a lot of things have changed uh, since then. Now, going back to the purpose and the uses of 550 cord, by having these strands in there, let me show you on here, it's a little bit easier. You basically have a container of a bunch of mini ropes. All right, so this one here, let's say, has the uh, seven strands, right? So each one of these strands is actually another rope that you could use in the field. Uh, which is pretty awesome, all right? And you could tell why, uh, you know, military survivalist uh, people into preparedness, why they like 550 cords so much, right? Because it's the options. And think about it, with this, by tearing this apart, uh, you can use it to sew up your gear, right? For something that malfunctions while you're out in the field. Uh, you can, st people stitch up wounds with this. Uh, remember, we're talking survival situations, all right? Not hanging out at a picnic, uh, you know, with your friends. Uh, you can uh, use it as fishing line. Uh, traps, snares. Uh, we've used them as field expedient handcuffs uh, when we had no choice and uh, needed to, to take care of certain issues. Uh, boot laces. All right, once again, endless possibilities. Uh, completely up to you. But you need to think about this stuff before, right? That's why it's called preparedness. So you need to prepare ahead of time. Make sure that you have this. That's why by throwing this extra stuff, you know, and just having extra bracelets or whatever on my packs, they're there just in case, right? It looks kind of cool on the outside too. But, you know, more importantly, it's like, hey, if I need something, I know I can go to it because it's prepared ahead of time. Uh, making little pigtails for carrying cases that I have for my comm gear, things like that. Once again, just more 550 cord. Yeah, it's cool. It's a little handle, right? But more importantly, it's other stuff that I'm bringing out there. So if I do forget to bring a big batch or, or whatever the case may be, I'm always going to be able to have what I need. Uh, for that emergency situation. 
So make sure that you prepare, right? Prepare ahead of time, learn this stuff, practice this stuff. Don't just watch videos. You're not gonna learn a damn thing by just watching videos. You'll get ideas, right? But you need to put them into proper application to, uh, to get the skill sets that you need, right? Especially when you're in a nice comfy home, right? Right now I'm in my kitchen, this is great. You know, you go out in the field and add in uh, the weather and all the other elements and everything like that. You know, it's gonna be a hell of a lot tougher. So in closing out this review, I wanted to speak more in general about 550 cord paracord, uh, then I did want to speak about a specific manufacturer or a vendor because of the complications that I brought up uh, throughout this review. But hopefully I gave you enough applications for you to decide if this is the uh, rope or cord that you do want to add to your go, go bag to be able to carry with you out in the field. And uh, once again, it certainly is for me. Uh, so hopefully I gave you enough information because uh, the specs are definitely above my pay grade. So I didn't really want to get into that and start uh, preaching out false information. Uh, once again, this is Helder. Hope that you enjoyed this review.